Our main role as a flight attendant is to provide safe and secure travel for our nation's leaders and passengers, as well as provide comfort items, cabin service, but our number one job is safety. Flight attendants are proficient in pretty much any emergency that could occur on the aircraft, whether it's fire, smoke, and fumes, emergency landings, crash landings, landings over water. If we have a rapid decompression, which is where the aircraft loses pressurization in the air, uh, we're trying to handle that as well. We actually shop, prep all the meals that we serve on the jet. We also load and unload all the baggage that goes on the aircraft, so there is no baggage loaders, it's just us. <laughs> on top of our flight attendant duties, we also have typical office jobs that are not as fun as flying the world. There's essentially four main types of aircraft that you can fly on. You can fly on a VC-25, which is a Boeing 747, a C-32, which is a Boeing 757, or a C-40, which is a Boeing 737, and then the last one is a Gulfstream C-37A and B, which is a G-5 or a G-550. There's a huge difference in between aircraft. The VC-25s being that it's a much larger crew, it's a lot more divided, it's a much bigger airplane. The Gulfstreams have one flight attendant, so you're doing everything. You're doing all of the aisle work, you're doing all of the cooking, you're doing all of the baggage loading. You're responsible for everything, including customs and a lot of other smaller ground duties. The bigger crews, just by nature of more people, it's kind of many hands make light work, so. I think what makes this career field unique is the opportunity that we get to fly with our nation's leaders. We get to fly all around the world and you get to be a part of history in the making. For me, interaction during missions is with the crew, anywhere from pilots or communication system operators, flight engineers, as well as the passengers. So anyone from the president, senior staff, his staffers, guests of the president, members of the press, as well as Secret Service and other support crew members that we fly with. So we do have a variety of different uniforms that we can wear as a flight attendant, and it kind of depends on which aircraft you're flying on. For Air Force One, they get to wear black uniforms that are similar to a business suit. And then if you're on the C-32, C-40, and the C-37, you will fly an also a business-like uniform, but it will be a navy blue. And then depending on where we're going to different countries that would be considered hazardous, we will fly in our two-piece flight suit or our one-piece flight suit. Air Force flight attendants, for food security purposes, will actually go to the grocery store and pick everything up like you're shopping for your house, rather than cater meals that are from companies that put everything together. We have what we call a menu database where we have a bunch of different recipes and meal selections that we send out to whoever we're flying with and they choose what they want to eat on that mission. So once we get the meal selections back is when we break down a shopping list, we'll go to the store and buy everything that we need for that meal and we'll prep as much as we can back at the squadron to make it easier for us on the jet. We'll load all the food and all the supplies onto the aircraft and then when we take off in the air, it's like putting together a banquet in the sky 